Have you ever wondered how the white rice grains in your daily meals are created? Each year, the United States produces nearly 9.97 million tons of rice, providing an important food source for many countries. But how does the process from green rice fields to delicious rice grains take place? From planting and caring to harvesting and processing, everything requires meticulousness and diligence. Let's explore that journey in the video below. Rice is cultivated in many different ways depending on the region. In particular, wet rice cultivation is very popular, especially in Asian countries such as Vietnam, China, Thailand, and Indonesia, where irrigation systems and abundant rainfall help maintain flooded fields. However, today we will introduce to you how to grow rice on large areas of land in the United States where mechanized agriculture has completely changed the way of farming. Growing rice requires careful preparation in which choosing varieties suitable for climate and soil plays an important role. Popular rice varieties include long grain, medium grain, and short grain, each with its own characteristics in cooking. The choice of variety not only affects the farming process, but also determines the quality of the product after harvest. Thanks to choosing appropriate varieties, rice productivity is optimized, meeting consumer and market needs. In the U.S., modern machinery plays an important role in the farming process, helping to optimize productivity and reduce manual labor. Before planting, farmers use plows combined with laser leveling to create an even field surface, supporting reasonable water distribution. Nowadays, instead of sowing seeds manually, they use automatic seeders, which help spread seeds evenly over large areas. Thanks to advanced technology, the rice growing process in the U.S. has become faster, more accurate and more effective than traditional methods. Water is an important deciding factor in the entire rice growing process. Unlike other crops that can withstand prolonged drought, rice needs a continuously flooded environment to grow. Therefore, farmers often build complex irrigation systems, including dikes and canals, to maintain ideal water levels. Well-controlled water levels help rice plants grow stronger and significantly limit the invasion of weeds and dangerous pests. Proper fertilization is also important, with farmers applying balanced amounts of fertilizer containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium to improve soil fertility and increase crop yields. Integrated Pest Management IPM, measures combining biological methods and the appropriate use of pesticides help protect rice plants from pests without overusing chemicals. Music 
After about two to three weeks from sowing, the rice begins to sprout and grow lush, creating vast, vibrant fields full of life. Over the next three to four months, the rice plants grow vigorously, reaching upward and starting to form panicles. As they enter the ripening stage, the fields gradually turn a golden hue, signaling that the harvest season is approaching. Harvesting is one of the most important stages in rice production. Harvest time determines the quality of rice grains. If harvested too early, the grains will not be fully developed. If it's too late, the grain may break or fall from the ear. Farmers monitor grain color and moisture to determine the appropriate harvest time, usually when moisture reaches 20 to 24 percent. The harvesting process has evolved significantly from manual sickle cutting methods to advanced mechanized solutions. Today, many large-scale farms use combine harvesters, which can efficiently perform cutting, threshing, and cleaning in a single process. These powerful machines greatly reduce labor time and significantly enhance overall productivity, allowing farmers to harvest vast rice fields within just a few short hours. Each high-capacity machine can harvest dozens of tons of rice per day, depending on its operational capacity and specific field conditions. Many modern harvesters are also equipped with smart GPS navigation systems, optimizing travel paths and minimizing grain loss. After harvest, rice must be dried to reduce moisture to a safe level. Farmers can use industrial dryers or natural sun exposure to achieve appropriate dryness. This process helps preserve rice for a long time while maintaining quality. The rice is then stored in temperature-controlled warehouses to prevent insect intrusion and maintain freshness. Rice processing is the process of turning rice from its raw form into the white rice grains we see on the market. The rice will go through a milling process. The husk is separated to obtain brown rice. If white rice is needed, the bran layer continues to be removed in the next step.
However, because this process reduces nutritional content, some manufacturers add vitamins and minerals to enhance the nutritional value. Finally, the rice is checked for quality, packaged in specialized packaging to protect from moisture and insects, and then stored in temperature-controlled warehouses before distribution to the market. The journey of rice is a testament to human ingenuity and effort. The modernization of rice farming not only increases productivity, but also helps protect the environment and ensure a sustainable food supply. Which stage of rice cultivation and processing impressed you the most? And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching and see you next time.